Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will talk about how we can create a reactive form in Angular. So first of all, we will create a simple form. After that, we have to import some modules and form control for reactive form. And then we will connect these modules and uh, form controls with our simple form and our reactive form will be ready. After that, on button click or you can say that on form submit, we will get to know how we can get the form input fields value. And at the last, I will tell you how we can set the default value to the, to the reactive form also. So now let's start with the first point and create a simple login form. So for that, I need to go to the SRC app and click on the app.component.html and just simply make a form here. And as you know, whenever we are uh, making form with the Angular or uh, you can say that uh, with the react or view then that time we don't need uh, action so after creating this form let's define an input field and we can also define a placeholder let's say my placeholder name is enter name and two fields are enough for a moment we don't need uh, much attributes and properties after that let's put here two br tags so that we can maintain some space you can use css for uh, maintain the space because I don't want to waste the time on the CSS and all. That's why I'm, I'm just using here BR tags. So that video can be uh, finished quickly. After that, let's create a button also. And here we can put a text like login. And uh, let's change it. Change it. Uh, enter password for second input. And the type again will be the password. And uh, now you can see that we have a simple form here. Great. So after that, the second point is we have to import some modules and controls. And uh, first of all, we have to go to the app.module.ts and let's import the reactive form from Angular form module. So just write here import something from Angular form and let's import here reactive form module and register it inside imports property like this. Great. So after that, we have to go to the app.component.ts and we again, we have to import the two more important things. One is form group and second one is form control. I will tell you the use of them. But first of all, let's import them at the rate angular forms and uh, let's import here uh, form group uh, and uh, form control form group will be con will control our complete form and it will handle that what we are getting inside the uh, complete form and this is valid or not and form control will specifically handle a single input field i will tell you how so as you can see that we we can close this app.model.ts because this is not uh, we, we don't need to write here any other code also so after that we have a two input field one is uh, name and second one is password so we have to define two form control inside a form group how so let me take this uh, reactive form name which can be let's say login form right and uh, it will be a new object or you can say that the instance of form group and inside it we have to send an object inside this object we will send our form controls how many fields we have we have two fields one is user so let's put a name for first field it can be user with a new form control right and it will be basically a uh, you can say that the class that's why we have to use here uh, brackets and same thing let's define the second one field also password and you can define the by default values also so for a moment let's put them blank great after that our form controls and form is ready so let's apply this form group over the uh, you can say that uh, form group property here so let me define here form group and the value will be login form after that these things user uh, user controls and uh, password controls we have to define with the fields so let's simply put here form 
control name will be user and let's copy of it and paste it here to define the uh, second one for password keep in mind login form which is the value of form group should be match with this and the con form control should be match with the form control names right great we can check that everything is working fine there is a no error so now let's uh, define a function so that we can just get this uh, form value so let me define here event first of all which is uh, ng submit and type of type of uh, its submit is uh, let's say uh, no it's no type the function that we will call on this submit will be uh, let's say login user it will be a function now let's define this function like this and uh, inside this for a moment we can console dot warn this dot login form and now let's see what we are going getting the default value whenever i'm just clicking on the login you can see that we are getting the complete form values like this is valid or not there is an error or not or there is some parent or not values and everything but we don't need all these fields for a moment so let's get the values for a moment and now whenever i will click over it you can see that username and password both are blank let me enter some name let's say anil and uh, password let's say one two three and now i'm clicking over the login and you can see that we got the values from here because these input fields are bind with our input controls and they are just a part of login form that's why the uh, the values are here so if you want to default values like uh, peter or uh, password let's say one two three at the rate abc then we can define it here and whenever we will load our form the default value will be here after login we can see that values and again we can change these values let's say peter parker or password is let's say one two three again and this is working fine so with that way we can create a basic reactive form and in next video i will tell you how we can uh, basically apply the validations on the angular reactive form so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video